Well, hello again. Um, it's about time I could throw in a little vlog here, so might as well do that. I know I kind of mentioned something before. I, like I said, the car went down. I tried to get a job quickly, went back to the old place I worked at. And nine working days later, I was released. <laughs> um, mixed feelings on that because, yes, a job. I needed money. I need to try to get income going for me, my girl, try to get another car. But then I'm also not sad because I really didn't like the job to begin with. It was cold call sales. The new boss that's there from the last time there's another boss, he the old boss is great. This new guy apparently is the first time of him managing an office. And you know when somebody is really good at what they do, maybe they should stick with that. Uh, apparently he was brought up from another area and... Got the shot at running this office. And as far as a manager, supervisor, office manager, whatever his title is, he has a lot to learn. That's personal opinion. Him releasing me, firing, whatever you want to call it, it, there was a couple of other guys in the office that were still there from the first time I worked. And that was, first time I worked there was like eight months. So I'm not a rookie to this game. But they changed up what they sold. And excuse the phone making noises, doing some type of updates. But um, they changed up what they sold. They changed up the script partly. Is like whenever I kind of started flowing into what I did before, I was making the sales. Then here's this guy, he's always critiquing, kept coming after me to do it just the way this script on the computer says, and my sales went. Script was clunkier than ever. I mean, the first time I worked there, I thought it was clunky, but you got to freelance. I mean, you're not lying or saying anything different. You're just putting it in a different package. Couldn't do that with this guy. Okay, so reading by the script, there were certain words from the old time, which was not what they sold, that were still in that script, and I would get tongue-tied on it just because I'm starting to read ba da 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 or, um and correcting myself because the script itself was wrong. Some of the other guys, one of the person who should have been the office manager, I don't know the whole story because I was not there at that time. Uh, he said he's kind of made up his mind to start looking for somewhere else to go. Yeah, it just wasn't a good situation, so that left me floating again. Um, looking at work-from-home stuff online. A uh, couple of places I saw that seemed to be real, not scams, and just something I've applied to them. I'm just waiting to hear back. I've gotten back involved with the Warriors Canvas. If you've seen the other video that's in my playlist somewhere, it's about the Warriors Canvas. Back volunteering with them again. It's... Um, it's a place for veterans to gather up and learn art as therapy, just whatever craft, anything like that. Uh, they had a leather guy there. I'm going to be the other one, um, which opened up another door because I'm going in as an artist with the Warriors Canvas next month. And they got a... It's a street fair. I wouldn't say it's a craft fair. It's a street fair. And I am working a lot. Well, I haven't made a lot of crafting videos because it's a lot faster to just do it. 
just make the item instead of trying to talk your way through it or show how you're doing it. Just just make. And that's the thing. Uh, I'm on a time schedule for that. It's going to be, I think it's the 19th of October. And with leather work and bracelet work, especially leather work, there's drying times. I just, I need to pump the stuff out. There's some skinny leather bracelets with different metal clasps I'm working on. Uh, well, that, that one's mine. This one's going to be mine, too, because it's the first one. It's almost like a snake skin. The antiques up in into the lines to kind of show it off a little bit. I got to put the end caps and all that on it. Another one here. Uh, that's not sized to me, so that's going to be for sale. I've just got a lot of stuff I need to get out on my table. With the Warriors Canvas, the veteran artist does get 70% of the sale. 30% goes back to the Warriors Canvas, but 70% goes directly to the veteran artist. No middleman, no nothing like that, so helps them out that way as well. So that's one thing. Try to help me as well as spread the message. I'll be outside the tent. You got our storefront, the street thing. I believe we're going to have a tent right outside front on the street. That's where I'm going to be at right up front meeting people. That also helps me because I'm hopefully next year I'll be doing um, art fairs, things like that next year, kind of traveling to them. Vehicle dependent. Uh, yeah, so it's a good experience, good learning experience for me, as well as trying to help out the Warriors Canvas keep our mission going. Um, with that, today I was down there. We were coordinating throughout the area. We got some veterans. If you see my short, we had a Hurricane Helene, Helena. Whatever, it came through as a tropical storm. I'm in northeast Tennessee. It devastated this area. Originally, I, lifelong, I was a coastal side of Florida, from Jacksonville, Florida, native. I've dealt with hurricanes. And I would never expect up here in northeast Tennessee for a hurricane tropical storm by the time I hit here, I think, to do this much damage. It has really screwed this area. Uh, Irwin, Tennessee got hit pretty bad. That's one of my shorts, if you look in that section. That's in Irwin, Tennessee. A big attraction for them is coming up is the Apple Festival on October 4th and 5th, I believe. I, I don't think that's going to happen. There's been no word that it's been shut down. But I just don't see how it's going to happen. The Nolichucky River crested everywhere. Even a little bit further down in, um, I think it's Green County, Greenville, Tennessee. Nolichucky had a dam. Last night I heard it failed. Apparently it didn't. So I, I just don't know what to make of that because first they say in a fail, then they say no, it doesn't. And I'm going to throw some photos and some videos up here of what's happened in the region. Just take a look. Open the app, we have to, guys. The king 
quick. Love y'all. Yeah, that's this area. It's not even us. It's also the other side of the mountain in North Carolina. Boone, North Carolina, which is <laughs> like the top of a mountain. That place I heard was flooded out. I got a friend over... I'm not sure what that area is called in North Carolina. Their dam went out and it just wreaked havoc. So today at the worst came as we were trying to find vets that may need us that are first off connected with us because we have their phone numbers. We're calling around. Um, yeah, we got a veteran, their, their parents are up some mountain in North Carolina and they're trying to get out and they've been two days, one day, know, a couple of days stuck up there because the rain's been a lot longer than Helena hitting us. But everywhere they try to come off, there's blocked roads and people are reaching out. We're trying to spread these messages like, hey, this person's looking for help at getting these people out. Anybody help them? Here's the post. Uh, like I said, we're connected to some veterans. We're calling around, hey, do you need help? Uh, do you need us to come get you? Do you need anything? We got a supply of food, water, right there at the Warriors Canvas, ready to roll out. To, if we know somebody's there, we got people who go out. I can't. All I could do is ride with them, and that's what I'll do if that happens. This, this has been a bad time. Yeah, I think that pretty well, pretty well wraps up what's been going on. I'm making, still trying to find jobs, volunteering with the Warriors Canvas again. Not in the capacity I was. I used to manage it, but just volunteer now. And we're trying to help people that we can. Been a hell of a day. I am tired. Uh, if you can, and this ain't about me. I mean, it's just information. It's not saying, oh, pity me. No, it just is what it is. I'm just let the information out. But keep the people of, who've been devastated by the storm. I don't care if it's here, wherever, anybody that you know. Keep them in your thoughts, you know. If you can help by spreading a message on social media of like somebody needing help, spread it. Doesn't cost you anything to do. So, yeah, it's, it's been rough. Rough all around for everyone. So, hey, just do what you can. Yeah, that's about it for me and... Let's see what happens by the time I get enough information to share and vlog for. So until then, this is Cadence Craftworks signing out. Everybody stay safe out there. I hope everybody is doing good. Till next time.